News broke on July 21 of a court case against two domestic helps of the former Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources, Cecilia Abnadapa. The two were put before an Accra circuit court for allegedly stealing $1 million, 300,000 euros, and millions of Ghana cities in the house of the former minister. Officials from the Office of the Special Prosecutor on Monday, July 24, also searched the former minister's Abilinkpe residence after she was picked for questioning over suspected corruption. The Office of the Special Prosecutor subsequently froze the former minister's account as it investigates her for corruption and corruption-related offences. Speaking to journalists in Parliament, a member of the Majority Caucus, Paul Chum Beruma, says investigations into the matter must be devoid of any influence. I think all state departments and state agencies that are supposed to um, make sure things work out are doing well. I mean, obviously, the president in his own wisdom brought the OSP office because of such situations that may come up. And I think the OSP for now is doing um, what he's supposed to do. We, 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 will entreat, we will entreat the state agencies to ensure that they are not forced or pushed to do things because they need to please the public. But they should allow the law to, to, to take its course. They should take anybody, which includes me sitting here, through the process, if we fall, fall uh, if we fall on the other side of the law, so I will say that yes, the OSP should do its work, the state agencies should do their work, and I'm sure that if <laughs> um, nobody forces anybody to do anything and everybody is cleared, I mean, we will all be happy and we will be okay, but not to. Also, you some people will say, yeah, yeah, yes, they are pushing people. No, 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 you have to do this, you have to do this. No, you know, like people are saying they're going to pick it because they feel like, no, we don't need that. We don't need no, someone to give pressure on anybody. He, however, called on the Auditor General to take steps in computerizing the asset declaration regime for easy accessibility. It is like a pie issue. Now, <laughs> you go and declare. They said they are going, I'm told. Um, they want to go and verify some of the things that she declared. That's what I'm told. I cannot confirm. But it might not be on it because she may not have had any means to update the, the forms. So if there is a way that you can update it, I think the auditor is the only auditor general to tell us that how we can update it. If we are supposed to acquire a new form, the auditor general must be able to tell us why wow, you have to acquire a new form. But you cannot tell us, ah, yes, I am a, I'm a member of parliament. I have declared my assets. It's with them. So tomorrow, if something happens and you come and I said, oh, I have only one Toyota Corolla. But when I came to parliament, parliament gave me loan to go and buy a Land Cruiser. Now, it's not on it. So what are you going to say? Are you going to say I acquired it through a dubious means? Because I've not declared it? I think it is important that the Auditor General comes out clear for us to know how we can do this. And I am calling for them to, as soon as possible, let's computerize this digitization. Give me a code. Let me be able to sit behind my machine and open it and update it. If I update it and submit it, I cannot alter it. You do a proper, uh, they give you a proper work. So there are these forms that we fill for visa. When you submit it, and if you can go in there, but you can't alter it. And that is what we need to do. We can, you should be able to update our form, but you cannot alter it. And that is the way, because it's, it's, it's becoming difficult. You have a lot of people who have not declared, and if they said they are going strictly by the law, I can confidently tell you that there are a lot of people in this country who will be put behind bars.